Today, we're cooking. So stick around and see what I got to make. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsif's YouTube channel. How you doing today? Welcome to Cook with Bilsif. I'm your host, freaking Bilsif. Today, we're gonna do a little cooking video. It's not gonna be like normal, I don't think. I can't find my apron or my hat or nothing. So Cock myself over. But what we got here is we're gonna make ourselves some roast and some scalloped potatoes and some veggies. I'm gonna start off with the roast because we're putting it in a slow cooker. So it's gonna take a little while and then I'll come back later and we'll do the uh, scalloped potatoes. Let's get this thing rolling here so you see what's really going on. So we got ourselves a $12.99 roast or $11.99 roast, which is a good sized roast. Pork sirloin roast So what I use for the roast is I use myself a can of honey garlic barbecue sauce, a little bit of ketchup. I found myself a new uh, spice. It's called roasted garlic peppers. I'll use some of that because that's good stuff. Freaking stick around for that stuff. And I'll use myself some of the old good old uh, brown sugar. All right. So there's a roast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this can right here or this ball of goop. We're just gonna pour it all over the place, Captain. Yeah, that's hardly sanitary. I like my roast to taste more like, what do you call it? Pulled pork kind of deal. So you put a can of that in and then you fill it back up with water. You give her a shake around and then you pour another bunch in because you want to make sure you got lots of sauce in there, Captain. So once we're done that, you take your ketchup and you just put a little bit in, not much. And you just a little bit, there you go. You take your brown sugar and you sprinkle that around there. That's just to give it a little extra bite. There we go. I mean, not much, just a little. So just sprinkle some of that in there. Not much, just a ton. There you go. And now we'll put some veggies in there. Cause you know, nothing like veggies that taste like pulled pork sandwiches, Jim. I know you're thinking, what the hell are you gonna put veggies in there for? So you just wanna scatter them around everywhere and this and that and the other thing. There you go. Well, there's no green beans in there, but I want green beans. So we'll just pour a can of that in there too. There we go. So now we'll put the lid on that and we'll let it go for probably, I don't know, three hours. We're gonna come back in about an hour from now. You guys, it's gonna be seconds, but we'll come back and then we'll start doing the scalloped potatoes as well. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell where button if you like the dirty old cook on Belsif. Why wouldn't you? Eat a shenanigans, enjoy your food. Okay, we're back. It's been about two hours and I wanna check on how things are going in the slow cooker here. And they are looking pretty freaking good. It's cooking away, hey, coming along nicely. If you had scratch and sniff, Jim, you'd be liking her. We might as well get started on the scalloped potatoes here. All right, so what you need for this is you need yourself some cheese, potatoes, Campbell's mushroom soup, some spices, and easy blend flour, Captain. And you need yourself a dish with it buttered. Now this is my rice recipe, so hopefully you enjoy it. Let's get this can open here first of all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the Campbell's soup in here, like that. I'm gonna get some milk, put a little bit of milk in there. Not much, just a little. And we're gonna give her a little blend job. So mix this up in here. To get all the good stuff off the edges and stuff like that. And then we'll throw that in there. And then we'll give it another little mix job. We'll get this all mixed up together. Now, if you don't like mushroom soup, then you're gonna have to try something different. But this is a recipe that takes mushroom soup, it does. So we'll give this a stir. We'll get it all mixed in there. Get it all nice and this and that and the other friggin' thing. We'll give her some spices now, because that's what I do. Now, I know mom don't add this, but I add this and that's the way it works. I'm adding some extra stuff here, babe, to your recipe. You don't care, do you? So there we go, we got that blended. We'll take ourselves some potatoes. We wanna do a first layer of potatoes. Just a nice little layer, eh? Nothing major. Okay, let's get rid of this water. Remember, when you prepare your potatoes, always put them in water, Jim, if you're not gonna do it right away because it stops them from getting all brown and stuff. So we'll do a little layer of potatoes, just like this. Hopefully we get enough potatoes, but I'm sure we do. There we go. And then we'll take a little bit of sauce. We're just gonna take a couple spoonfuls here. Take some spoonfuls and we'll just kind of give it a little dab dab around. You watching? Probably not. How does this dangle of the angle look? It's pretty good. There you go. Once we get a little bit of this down here, we'll just kind of spread it around a little bit. Give it a little bit of a spread around. There we go. We'll add a little couple dashes of the old cooking powder because we don't want this stuff runny. So you just put a little dab, nothing major. I put a little bit too much in there, Jim, just to be honest with you. That's okay. So there we go, we got that. So now we'll do another layer of potatoes. <laughs> you know, not a lot, just a little. There we go. Do a little bit more of the goopy goopy and get her spread around there like that. Decent. I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese in the middle. There we go. 
Perfect. Now we'll do another layer of potatoes. Here we go. Now we'll put the rest of the sauce in here. Give her a little spread around. Another little dash. Like I said, we don't want this runny. You want your scalloped potatoes non-runny. And once you start cooking the juices and everything, she gets pretty runny pretty quick. So now I'll do another layer of potatoes. Now this is just a single batch. Normally you can do a double batch and you can put a lot more than this, but we only had so many potatoes left. So we're doing a single batch today. So there you go, eh? Why wouldn't we? Because we're out of potatoes right now. Oh yeah, we did. So there we go, we got that done. So now we're gonna put just a tad little bit more of this. Nothing major, just a little bit. There we go, and that's the uh, Garlic Plus, Captain. And now we're gonna cheese the hell out of it. Now it all depends how much cheese you like. This is a dirty old rotten old stinky old Bills' house. So she's gonna get hammered with cheese, big time. And then I do something else. We'll get the cheese on there. Make her look real nice and pretty here. Let's put the whole goddamn thing on there. Why wouldn't we? Frig boys. Don't fucking get shy on the cheese gates. So there we go. There's a scallop potato. Almost. Like I said, we'll give her the pills of touch because I like my baked ketchup on there, I do. So I'll just give a little dab across here. We're gonna do the whole thing. Yes, master. Right away, master. Ain't gonna be no, no. There we go, just a little bit. Just so it cooks in real nice with the potatoes. So we're gonna put the oven at 350, let her cook. Biggest thing I find with scalloped potatoes, my wife will agree with you, is you cook them and then you let them sit for a bit. They always seem to taste better if they sit for a little bit. We'll get them cooked up at 350 and then I'll show you what they look like. Well, I'm back. Scalloped potatoes out of the old oven there. I'm not afraid to admit it, boys, but I screwed up. So I put too much cheese and not enough flour, so it's really runny. I'm honest with you guys, but I know how to fix that problem, and I'm gonna do it right now with you. Like I said, I didn't adjust for the extra cheese and the extra grease and stuff, so that's why it's so runny, and I don't like runny. So take some stuff and I'm gonna go all the way around the edges, and I crossed it, and that will help suck up any of the moisture. Because that's what we do over here at the Dirty Old Bills in the house. We compensate for runniness we do and it'll probably add nice flavor too well so there we go we'll let that in there like that and it's already starting to freaking work and we'll tuck her all down inside and actually this might be pretty damn good jim put her back in the oven for a few minutes there we go mm -mm -mm. we'll slap her back in Ow! it's still hot jim and we'll test it out okay first of all our entrees are always cooked exquisitely to perfection well, there we go. Another successful cooking with Belsif. I got my veggies, I got my meats, and I got my potatoes. Friggin' right I do. Sometimes you screw up, but you gotta remember, you can always fix it because you're cooking with Belsif. Friggin' right. Love y'all. Don't forget to subscribe and like. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and eat up this, and then maybe finish this edit up for you. Why wouldn't I? Love y'all. Hope you had a good weekend like I did. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell bar button. Until next time, you know what to do for now.